Hey everybody, welcome to Down on Backyard Gardening. Today is a day that I don't think a lot of us like to do or we look forward to doing, but it's a day that's necessary and that's prepping the garden for spring or your garden. And as you look around behind me, there is so much work for me to do here that now that the sun is finally out and it's not raining, it's time to get her done. So I always say I'm gonna show y'all what I do and everything I'm doing out here. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so right off the bat, I've got a lot of chores that need to be done today. Um, all these beds need to be cleaned up, straightened up, and amended. The, but first, I'm gonna get the container garden back where it's supposed to be. So, let me flip the camera around. So over there is the container garden. And yet, most of it's right over there. <laughs> so that's the first thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna knock out that, get that all straightened out. Then I'm gonna go through all these beds behind me, all of them, and get them all ready and prepared for about three weeks from now, which will be right around March 1st, last expected frost date for here in the zone 9A area. And that's when I'm gonna start getting everything outside. So that's step one of today's video. So let's sit back, listen to some music, watch me uh, bust my butt, here we go. Okay, so that's the container garden set up for now. <laughs> Pretty sure that banana tree didn't make it this year, and that's fine. Switch it out with the old fig that I have, the fig tree that I've had the longest. I'll just put it in that pot, no big deal. But that part's done, now to start dealing with these beds. All right, so that's only the first part of the tomato bed. I still got all the rest of this to go. Y'all, these strings are great, but man, when they start to vine up them, it's kind of a pain in the butt. tomato bed is finally finished now you will notice one thing I was pulling all the bean and pea roots out of the ground I didn't pull them all out but I'm just trying to get this done now you normally don't want to pull out your bean roots because the bottom of the roots have little capsules of nitrogen and then your tomato plants or whatever plants you're gonna plant next in that garden can then use those nitrogen capsules but there's so many in there and I'm about to completely amend this bed. Now, I'm not really worried about it, but I definitely want to explain why I did what I did when I usually say, don't do that. So now I'm gonna knock out this bed, clean up the garden, and then I just need to, I don't know, get that taken care of, get these planted where I want them, move that, clean out that corner. <laughs> There's a lot to do. So now to tackle something I've been dreading. First time I saw that. But it's time to switch this one out. For that one right there, minus the succulents. That's a video coming up soon though. So for this, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to save all the dirt that I can in there and then move it out of the way, put the new one in and try to fill it up. I'm not sure if I have enough soil to fill up the metal one today, but it, I'll at least wanna get it in place. So, uh, <laughs> here we go. Okay, 
Okay, so for now, that's good enough. I'll come back in later and cut these off with a, with a saw of some kind, jigsaw or something, no big deal. But I think that thing's ready to rock and roll. Now just to get soil in it, and we're off to the races, which I'm not gonna show you me doing that. I did show you me dealing with the other one, so that's enough. What I am going to do though, is I'm gonna move this fairy garden. I don't like it being here. My thought process last year was to move it from that corner over here so it could be shown more and seen more, but the sun just killed everything I put in there. And I don't want to move it back over to that corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it put right over here. Basically where that owl is. Now it means I'm going to have to chop out a whole bunch of stuff over there. i got to move that bin, which if you just look at it, it breaks. The sun has just cooked that plastic to no end. It's brittle. Brittle isn't even a word for it. It's beyond brittle. But I'm going to get the fairy garden moved over there. And then I'm going to put these two beds. I'm thinking right here. Or maybe one right over here. Just not sure yet, but we'll figure it out. Okay, y'all, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real. I'm at kind of a loss. There's actually not enough space over there for this to go. So, I think I'm going to re-adjust this, get it lifted up higher so it's more level. And I will only put flowers in there this year that can handle the summer heat. Not the stuff that I usually have in there that can be over and hidden. I think I'm gonna just strictly focus on Texas plants that can handle the heat for this garden. I'm still gonna make it a fairy garden though. I will keep that the way it always has been since before I started this channel because my daughter and I started this and I will never not have a fairy garden because of her. So, I. I think what I'll do I'm going to definitely I will definitely put one right there for sure I don't think it would look good if I had it like that obviously minus all this so yeah I'm at a loss right now yes it's going to totally change my entire plans, but I guess it'll have to be like that. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but that's all right. That's all right. We'll, we'll adjust and move on, right? That's gardening. So uh, the rest of this video, I'm not, or the rest of everything I have to do out here, I'm not going to show you all. It's just me throwing soil in the beds, laying down compost, all that stuff that's, yeah, who wants to see that, right? I will show you this though, because I just saw this, and then we're gonna end the video on a really cool note. Okay, so about a month ago, I showed the video, and I'll put a link to that video right here, where I talked about asparagus over the winter time, right? Laying down compost and soil and all that, getting it prepared for the next spring. It'll be year two for this crop, this asparagus, but look, at what I literally just saw a few minutes ago. Y'all, the asparagus is already coming up. Like, you gotta be kidding me. That is so cool. So cool. So, looks like the asparagus game this year might be pretty doggone good. Pretty excited about that. And along with the onions that are over there, the garlic that's growing really good. Onions are over there. Garlic is all right there. Still have spinach growing, can't believe that. And lettuce and a few Swiss chards that survived the freezes. That banana plant though, I think is completely done. Um, I'm gonna give it a few weeks now that the weather is getting a little warmer and we'll see what it does, but I'm pretty sure it's gone, which is fine, no big deal. I had to try it though, right? All right, everyone, if y'all enjoyed this video as always, like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. If this is your first time seeing this channel, trust me, this isn't the normal videos. <laughs> But I like to show everything that I'm doing in the garden, regardless if it's, uh, you know, awesome and I'm planting stuff or harvesting stuff. Well, there's a lot more to gardening than just those kind of things. There's all the preparation, 
and getting the bed ready and taking out all the old stuff for the new stuff, you know, gardening. <laughs> Everyone take care. God bless. I'll talk to you all again real soon.